Hi, my name is Paul Kautza. I'm the Director of Education for the Data Warehousing Institute. We're here at our Las Vegas World Conference and I'm joined by Sean Rogers. Sean is Vice President of Research at EMA. Sean, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good um, to be here. Sean, big data has been a topic, seems to be the biggest hype topic we've <laughs> had in a lot of years. It's a big topic. And, uh, and the Chicago Conference coming up, I think it's, it's May through May, May 5th through 10th, uh, you've been teaching a lot for us on social analytics, yeah. social media, and fun classes with that. But at EMA, I think you guys did a, a, a big a research paper on big data, and now you've put together a class called the Big Data Tipping Point. Yep. And I'd like, and you're going to be teaching that in Chicago for me. You're also teaching it here in Vegas. But I'd like you just to kind of give me a flavor of of how that, the genesis of that class out of the research, and you know, and I know it's not Hadoop relatedness, but what what's the genesis of yeah, that class? Well, you know, you kind of you touched on a topic that's very important. I think when anything gets hot in the technology space, uh, there's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of kind of marketing speak that goes around it. And unfortunately, if you're an end user who's trying to wade through all of this it becomes difficult to get to the core uh, value propositions, the core applications of it, uh, how you can use it in the enterprise for real world examples, and, and, and you need a sort of practical view of it. And when we set out to do the survey that we did at EMA and the, and the resulting uh, research was to take a very practical approach to it and not follow on purpose uh, any of those waves of marketing speak and silliness. You know, I think uh, one of the misconceptions of big data is, is that it's only about uh, the topic of Hadoop and mm -hmm. the Hadoop open you know source frameworks and solutions and, and that's just not the case um, we're doing big data type workloads throughout the enterprise and so we took that approach uh, as we put the survey together we also wanted to expose how companies were utilizing big data uh, for analytics and mm -hmm. insight but also to power operational uh, workloads as well and to power their business and so the survey and the research takes both of those tracks and examines the types of data uh, the type of workload and the type of solutions that they have and that's kind of what we're presenting in the class and so I think in a way uh, we talk about it as being a tipping point you know the things that are yeah. moving companies towards this but it also is somewhat of a maybe a demystify uh, yeah. we we kind of debunk a few things early in the class and uh, and we like doing that and we've gotten good feedback on it and I think that's that's one of the things that I, I think you've gotten very good feedback I like, I like a lot is because a lot of people when they think about big data say well tell me about Hadoop Tell yeah. me about Hive. Tell me about Pig. Sure. Tell me about all these things that are around it. And, and I don't see a lot of people that are talking about, well, do I even have a problem where I'm going to be able to use it? Sure. And we all know that big data isn't just about the size of the data. There's a lot of other variables yep. that go with it. So even smaller organizations with that are using social media and social analytics right. are into big data. Well, you know, and it's interesting. It dovetails into the social uh, analytics class that I teach for you uh, because social data is one of these new kind mm -hmm. of exciting data sources that has that big data feel to it as far as how quickly it moves and how much volume is there and the scale that's required to process it. Um, but it's really defining how fast or how much much is less important to our class than discussing how to put it to good use. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took a straw poll the first time we taught this class for you and we asked, well, how many uh, people here in the audience have a big data uh, initiative underway because you saw a practical application or a business problem mm -hmm. coming your way? And we had a handful of hands go up and then I said, well, how many of you are here because your CEO said, let's go get one of those Hadoop things and the rest, <laughs> of the, you know, the rest of the class went up. So we find the people that are attending are looking for that practical approach approach and I think mixing it with research um, mm -hmm. versus maybe opinions um, you know I always have opinions on technology so do you but the research stuff is kind of nice because it, we can bring real numbers to the class and show them what their peers are doing with big data how they're doing it and what concerns and challenges they have to big data you know I think in all we probably share 50 or 60 charts during the class mm -hmm. and then intersperse it with a lot of good commentary and some real world advice so terrific well I, I, I've, I've sat through parts of the class yes. I've all through but it's 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 very exciting we also have can have a number of classes that deal with Hadoop, that deal with mm -hmm. all the other focus of Hive and Pig and MapReduce and all of those pieces. Yep. We just talked to, to Len Silverson and Ken, uh, uh, Chris Krishnam. Yep. They're going to have the human side of big data. So we got a lot of stuff covered, but I think the, the exciting thing about your class is it, it if, if you really want to understand a practical use case, practical approach, practical ways that big data can be deployed and, and, and what people are doing with it, 
yours is a great foundation class for that. So uh, if you're interested in, in learning more about big data, join us in Chicago May 5th through 10th. And Sean, thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for having Paul me. Paul Kautzer with the Data Warehouse Institute. Thank you very much.